Hello and welcome to part 5 of using Sugarbytes Obscurium inside your DAW. My name's Tom Cosm and we've started off this uh, this series making an ARP kind of effect thing. Be good for an intro sound. Uh, then we made a kick. And some percussion. And then an interesting bass line. And remember we can control the cutoff envelope of that. Which will be fun later when we get into the more progression side of the tune. Actually that's what I want to talk to you about today is I want to build a little bit of progression because we've been working on this loop, it's quite busy, it's sounding quite good, but we, d we don't really have any tune progression at the moment. So I'm just going to do a little bit of that before I actually start getting into Obscurium just so we can get a structure sorted. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this uh, kind of these 16 bars that we've made already and I'm going to drag those over to 32 bars because that means the bar 1 to 32 we can treat as the intro and of course this ARP effect sound I originally thought that would be a good intro sound so let's drag that back to the start and drag it out over here so everything kind of builds up and up and up and up and 32 bars is kind of a point where I don't know the, you know the bass comes in and the kick drops and the crowd goes wild and all that kind of stuff so it's about one minute, just after one minute into the actual tune. So I thought that's a good place to do that. Um, but one thing with these transitions and phrasing is it's good to have something to kind of announce that a new phrase is going to happen. So something something leading up to it. Uh, you know, people call them rises where you just have white noise kind of whoosh or something, something kind of a little bit epic. So we're going to make one of those today. Uh, I'm going to go right ahead and do that. So let's create a new MIDI track and I'll call it Riser. And I want this riser to be here. So it's going to be leading up to this point here. I'll actually add a locator point and say first drop, just so we know where it is. And let's go ahead and build it. So as usual, I'm going to take this long single note from one of these tracks, uh, which is a G, and copy it down into the riser track. Because remember, Obscurium's handling a lot of the uh, information on how that note is actually played. Um, and let's go ahead and load a version of Obscurium into the track. As usual, it's the default track, so I'll go into my user menu, preset menu, and choose the init patch, which is what I like to do. Very good. Now, think about things rising. They're moving upwards. They're going up. You can bring the volume up. You can bring the pitch up. You can have a cutoff filter opening up. So we're going to be using the line tool a lot for this because this allows you to draw lines across the uh, motion sequencer. And I'll do it right now, actually. I'll pick the line tool. I'll take a guess at how steep I need it to be. Click at the start and move it up so it's a little bit too steep bring it down and move it up pretty much perfect that's all good we can adjust that guy by ourselves and um yeah so now the cutoff is just opening up let's listen solo the track but of course the pitch is not what we want it so i'm going to select 32 here and bring it down actually no i'm not i'm going to do it the different way because there is another way to do that to bring everything down to the bottom um, which is click on these four options here and bring the max down. So that's just going to play G constantly. You can see it there. Um, I'm going to do the same with the ARP. Let's bring the ARP all the way down. I'm going to bring the chords down as well. So we're keeping the same chord as the rest of the track, which I believe is just a nice minor chord. And I'm going to bring the poly down as well. We might add some chords into this a little bit later, but uh, just for now, let's just have a nice G playing. And I'm also going to go into my amp envelope and use the MIDI envelope for this one. So I'm going to bring the crossfader down. Let's go into our noise and let's go back to our line tool. And it was a little bit too steep before, so I'm just dragged it down a little bit. And let's bring the noise up over the motion sequencer. Look at that perfect line. Fantastic. Um, I think we'll use FM synthesis as well for this one because we have these uh, three options, FMX, FM1 and FM2. Um, I don't actually know if it will sound amazing, but I think opening those up the line tool will sound good as well. So the first thing we need to do is go into our mix, <coughs> excuse me, open up these four options and I'm just going to bring the min amount up to the top. So that means it's going to play purely FM. Again, I usually do this in the motion sequencer, but I'm just using this technique today for fun. Um, so now we're just getting an FM sound. Starting to open up, sounding good. Let's go into the sound tab and give it a lot of reverb, a bit of delay. Just leave these on default. I'll maybe make the reverb quite big. Gives a bit, a bit of body and full, fullness to it. And so we changed the mix parameter for the FM stuff. So now let's go into the FMX and draw a line up. Again, FM stuff can be quite difficult to, to imagine how it's going to sound, but I think this is going to be good. Remember, if it's not, we'll always fix it. 
So let's bring those up. Okay, let's play with the algorithm routing. So let's change to this one. Mm, a bit too harsh. Try this one. Pretty similar to the last one. Uh, we could always change the ratio, but it would probably make it scream quite loud. Let's listen. It's a cool sound within itself. Um, what I might do here is I'm going to quickly duplicate this riser and I'm going to call this riser 2 and I'm just going to mute the track so we can keep that for later. We might use that a little bit later, but it's not exactly the sound that I'm thinking of at the moment. So let's go back in here. Um, I'm going to go back to the original routing because that sounded good. Bring the ratio down, of course. Okay, now what could we play with here? Um, <clears throat> let's play with the ARP. So we want some, some of these notes to move up in the scale. So remember the ARP, you can choose what note you want from the particular chord that you've chosen. Um, and we've got three octaves across the spectrum here. So I'm going to put my pen tool down to one. And let's just, I don't know, every third note, just bring one of these up. I missed it. It doesn't matter. I'm just picking random notes here. It's the beauty of Obscurium is usually it sounds good. Not bad. Let's even make it go up a little bit higher. So let's bring these up like this. Maybe have this one down. Actually, I think these would sound good if I didn't randomly do it. So I'm just going to pick every third note here and move up. Um, maybe a bit higher, a bit higher, and this one down. So that's just going to kind of create its own little rhythm within those uh, 16th notes. Sounding pretty good. What we could do here is these two notes here, they're quite, mm, they're kind of the the peak, if you like, or the, the most important two notes, I think, of this, this little phrase. So what we could do is go into the poly, and uh, you can see that the, we can see our little dots here, our little kind of pink dots with the arpas going up and down. So those ones I'm going to give it, uh, let's give this one two polyphony and three. Of course, polyphony being how many notes it's actually playing. So we'll actually get some chords on those last two notes, a two part chord and a three part chord. Very good. I wonder what would happen if I go into the pitch tab uh, and give it some glides. So it glides between the notes. I like that. I'm just wondering if I go into my cutoff, maybe if I bring the cutoff point down for the two notes in between these two chord notes we played and the note immediately after the last chord note, because that would cut everything off. So we just cut, kind of, maybe it might accent these chords a little bit more. Let's listen. That's pretty cool. Or delay. I like that. One thing we could do as well, just to muck around, because I'm actually happy with that, and the, I think we should spend a tiny bit more time, in, is it, time on it, is I'm going to go into my mix uh, parameter here, and we did use the min and the max to make it up to the top for FM, so I am going to bring the min down, just so we can um, quickly pluck some notes out of the analog oscillator instead. Uh, so let's pick the pen tool, and let's pick, I'm just going to pick a couple of these notes remember this is where the arp is kind of bringing up the notes and the and the pitch i guess uh so let's see if let's see if it sounds good with a um an analog oscillator for those notes doesn't make too much difference maybe if we change the wave to completely a saw wave and give it um, give it a bit oh have the sync frequency going up the line too that would be interesting let's try that Sync frequency is going up a little bit too high, so I'm going to lower the ramp on the line tool and have it come up like this, perhaps.
Let's put some envelope on the cutoff just for fun. Maybe if we added um, a mod to the envelope, so it's uh, we can have it open for quite a long time, so it's uh, pretty much like it's non-existent. And then we could bring the mod down so the notes get shorter. I think we did that for the bass as well as a trick. Nearly got that perfect. Let's have a listen. Maybe even steeper. And even steeper. Oops. sounds good when it starts short I think so let's um let's try that instead and let's have the mod opening up okay this needs to be a very shallow ramp and go into the mods I'm just fine-tuning the release time here a little bit And of course we need to be careful of these notes, remember that we took them out with the cutoff filter um, to have these short as well. Alright, so let's um, go ahead and unsolo the track and play it and see how it sounds with this. The levels might be a bit off, but let's try it. Bring the levels down a bit. Let's put this guy over here. The one that we made before, just see how it sounds. It'll be quite loud too. It's kind of cool. There's a little bit of a weird timing thing going on, I imagine, to do with those uh, F FM ramps that we made. But uh, I'm happy with that. Now, we do need to add something else in the next video. I'll do that, which is, I guess we'll call it a faller. So this is building up, and we need something to kind of fall down at this stage. So it's kind of like, ah, oh, the new phrase is here. Welcome. Here is a sound to signify the coming of the new phrase, which is the first drop. So thanks for watching. My name's Tom Cosm, and make sure you tune in to the next video.